Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So I have a very awesome AI tool to share you guys because it's really on par with Mid Journey. And the best part about this one, it has a very awesome free trial period. Take note it gives you 700 credits that will be refreshed every 24 hours or every day. We're gonna call it Germina AI, new AI image generator by CupCut. Now what did I mean by on par with Mid Journey? Just take a look at this example. Take on the smoke, the details of the hair, and everything here is free. Now there is a paid subscription, yes, but that is just for advanced features. But if you want to test the waters, the 750 tokens every day is going to be good for you. Here is another example made from other creators. Same goes with this one. Looks really professional, looks really awesome. Now one more example for you guys, a much more realistic version. And with this one guys, you can copy the prompt and make your own. Now let's have some more examples to check here, just browse a little bit. Now take a look at this sample. How awesome is that, right? Again guys, let's try create our very own sample here. So let me just look for in the top section, we have text to image and Canva. Before we get into that, let me just check on the pricing. Now this is going to be the prices. We have the free trial. This is the basic. It's currently on peso, which is my currency. So we have the standard for 18,000. This is going to be yearly. This is the monthly. Of course, we have a one month trial period. Now, let's try creating our very own images. I have prepared some notepad here for some awesome prompt. You can pause the video, you can copy this one, no problem at all. So simply click on text to image to image right here, and I'll see you once inside. Now, this is going to be inside the Dreamina editing profile, or basically the prompt bar. Put this one right here for the prompt section. We have your models right here. For now, we have four models for us to work with, and each of them has its own um, description. So for the Pro, better generation results with fresh and looking capabilities. This is the newest one, excels at everything from photorealism to painterly styles. Supports prompts in natural languages. So for now, we have Pro Turbo version 1.3 and version 1.4. For this video, we're going to utilize this Pro. And for the quality, I'm going to go ahead and put it to up to 9. For the aspect ratio, you can choose which one you want. This is just going to be the size of your photo. But I'm going to go for 16 by 9. Which is, you can customize manually here if you don't want the presetted templates. Now let's try creating a very own. So since I promise I have my very own prompts here, I can just simply copy that, paste it right there. A mystical landscape of floating island, inspired by the environments of in-game Final Fantasy. So if you're familiar with Final Fantasy game, that is going to be my inspiration for the day. Which is now, I can now generate for 12 tokens. Take note, I still have 750. And I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now these are going to be my 4 examples. Since the prompt I have earlier. Take note, that is going to be my prompt. Which is you can copy with that simple click of a button. Now what are the features here? You have the download button right there. You have the save or bookmark or add to favorites button right here. Notice that it has been downloaded on my computer with no problem at all. For the three buttons right here, you can delete or report the photo. And on the bottom section, you can generate video for this feature, which is what we're going to talk about on the next video. So we're going to create videos on Dreamina on the next tutorial video, right? You can also edit on Canva for this exact photo, which is I'm going to include on the next video. For the edit, we have upscale, retouch, repaint, expand, and remove. We can also have regenerate or reprom if we're not satisfied. For now, I'm gonna click on regenerate and I'll see you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. So, for this one, these are the new four generated images we have based on our prompt from earlier. I did not type anything, I did not change anything from my original prompt. I simply click on regenerate. Now, what does it mean if we click on HD upscale here? So for HD upscale, this will now give the photo itself an upscale version. And here we have it. Let me just wait for a minute. Perfectly right there. Now this is the upscale version. And this is gonna be the original version. Awesome, right? So let's try this new one. Let me go for the upscale version for a better quality. Now you'll notice since this is the upscale version, the upscale option is not anywhere available. So let's try this one. If we have retouch right here, what it does is it basically gives your photo a little bit more quality. 
So welcome back to the video. Now, let me just pull up the HD quality from earlier. So take note, this one right here is going to be the one for retouch. And this one right here is the HD quality. Now take note the differences of the two. If I just put them beside each other. So I think, or I suggest that in touch or retouch rather, gives you a much more vibrant look. However, for the HD photo, gives you a bit more darker and realistic vibe, right? So that's going to be by your own perspective, which one you want. But for now, that's how they work. Let's try some more examples here. I have one more portrait of a male inspired by the environment of the game. I'm going to use the same model and I'm click on generate. And I'll see you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, this is going to be the photo of a portrait of a male inspired by the environment in Final Fantasy game. This is going to be the result photo. And here are the other photo we have. Now if I click on upscale for this one, it should look like this. Give me a second here. And this is going to be the upscale version of the original photo from the male portrait inspired by the environments in Final Fantasy game. Perfect, right? Now that's basically it on the image generation for our original style. Let's go back on the dashboard right here. And I'm looking for an awesome template here that I want to use as a sample. I think I'm going to go in with this guy. So for this one, that's going to be an awesome anime, much like Son Goku, if you're familiar with that. So I'm going to click on Use Prompt here. So I have a Use Prompt. Now I'm going to use a Reference Image. So since this is going to be a guy, might as well look for a person that is basically a male as a subject of our photo. Now give me a second to look for one. Now the tip here is have a very good photo of a male. I think I'm going to go with this guy right here. If you choose a photo, it will go here. Please make sure that you choose this is a human face. Because if you choose tile, edge, or pose here, it's going to be different. So since this is going to be a human face, this is what we're going with. You can choose your aspect ratio right here also. Now that being said, I keep everything normal here. I'm not going to change the quality. Everything is normal. And I'm click on generate. I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. So these are going to be the four samples we have. Now to comparison, this is the guy we have from earlier. Let me just slightly minimize it so we can compare them properly. So how awesome is that, right? Take note about the chin right here. That is right there. The lips right here. The color of the hair is right there. The vibe of the guy is still here. Pretty awesome. Now you can still click on upscale here to make it much more um, HD quality. And we'll now generate this awesome photo. Now again guys, the difference of upscale and retouch right here. Retouch gives you a much more vibrant look. Upscale gives you a much more deeper, darker, realistic version. So I've clicked on retouch here. And let's see the new photo using retouch. Here we have it. Now that is a very awesome photo. I'm just going to save right here because I really personally like it. Now let's talk about a different option here. We're going to go for Canvas. So again guys, this is going to be a new platform inside Drumina where you can have in painting and the works. So let's upload the photo first for this one. Thing, I'm going to go with this guy right here. Now this is John Wick, right? So what can we do with John Wick here? First and foremost guys, we can have it move like so. Now this is like Figma if you're familiar with it. I can rescale it to a much more smaller version of itself. Make sure everything is aligned. I can add the text here. For example, I can type in sample one there, but that's not professional looking. Now there's an option for brush. Now what can we do with brush? So if I click on brush here, for example, I brush on the sword right there. And then for the color, I can change this one for a different one. For example, white, I can have it a little bit more white here. Now that is brush for you, which basically that's it. You can just draw a doodle inside of your photo. Now what can I do more here? These are the ones that I really like. We have in paint, blend, expand, remove, retouch, HD upscale, and then background. Let's start with expand first. So I deliberately or intentionally lower it down to this level. So we can really appreciate the expand option. So let's try it out. If I click on expand here, it will now expand to its original size. So I'm going to just fill up the frame right here. 
Now I can type whatever prompt I want here to further utilize the expansion or I can just simply click on expand there and it will automatically expand by itself. This will take a roughly 10 to 20 seconds. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. So this is going to be done. It has been expanded. We have four variations of which one to work with. I think I'm going to go with third one. I like the crosswalk right here. I can regenerate or reprompt, but for now, I'm going to click on done. Let me just remove this really bothering text box right here. Oh, sorry about that. I deliberately deleted the image. So for that to remove properly, click that right there. Click on delete. Now we have one layer. Now let's talk about in painting now. So for in painting, you can lower the brush size. You can use a quick select right here. Or you can erase. But for now, let's go for brush size. I want to do this one right here. I want to in paint something on this section. So give me a second to in paint. I'm just going to encompassize the space right there. Now what can we add here? We're going to go for red fire hydrant. Like so. Click on in paint. And basically with this one, I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. So take note guys, we have an AI, right? We don't always get what we want. So we have four variations, which one of them doesn't have the hydrant. We have a second one with a weird looking hydrant. This one is a bit smaller, but perfect for me. And we have this one also. But for now, I'm going to go with this third one. Click on done. And we have a fire hydrant right there. Awesome, right? Now what if we choose to remove now? So basically remove is as the name itself. What if we remove one of the swords here? I'm going to select the sword right there. Select it right here and click on remove. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Take note guys, the sword from earlier has been removed. Click on done and now John Wick only has one sword. Now let's try this to right here, retouch and HD upscale. As said by earlier, retouch gives it a much more vibrant looking, wherein HD upscale gives you a bit more dark and realistic looking, much like those Marvel movies out there. So that's the difference of HD upscale and retouch, because basically they give you a higher quality of your image. And now this is what we have for HD upscale. How about retouch? If I click on retouch right now, I assure you guys that this will give it a much more vibrant looking upscale. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Now this is what we have. Let me just zoom it in just a little bit and appreciate that sword. It gave it a graffiti. Now take a look at that bow tie, that face right there. That is pretty awesome. Perfect, right? Let me just move this one because it came out of screen. I'm going to zoom out just, just a little bit right here there. And now, what's next? What if we click on remove background? Now I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now this is going to be it if we have removed the background. If I click on done right now, we only have John Wick as a vector. And that's it. Now if you want to revisit your history, you can have this, this one right there, and this one right here. I think this is the most awesome one. That's going to be history for you. And basically guys, if you're satisfied with this one, of course, you can click on export right there. You can choose JPEG and PNG. The size is going to be here. You can choose export option. You can export all lawyers, but take note. If you only want one, please choose canvas right here. Because if you choose export or layers, you're going to export everything here. Take note about that one, alright? And basically that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.